Hello, Patrick Walchuk here with an update on the Ottawa investment market. And if you enjoy getting these videos, click on the subscribe button and also click the notification bell to make sure that they're sent out to you every 30 days. So we're going to look at the year to date numbers and we'll start off with the buildings that have two to four units in them. So for the first three months, we've had 40 sales, which is a slight decline from 46 last year, which is 13%. Now the average price of these two to four unit properties is $1,044,000. And it says it's a decline of about seven and a half percent. I'm not seeing a decline in these prices. I think this is more a function that last year, uh, we, we had a few more buildings that were more expensive sell and they're skewing the numbers. There, there's no way that these are falling into disfavor and prices are going down. <clears throat> in terms of how long they're taking to the sell, they're selling on average in 44 days compared to, um, uh, 51 days last year, which is a decline of uh, about 14%. Moving on to the five unit buildings, we've had 12 of them sell so far this year compared to nine last year. That's an increase of 34, 33%. Now what's unusual about this is that in a lot of years in Ottawa, we only see 22 to 24, 25 of these uh, class of properties sell. And in the first quarter alone, we've already had 12. So that's, that's really unusual for us. In terms of prices, <clears throat> We've had some higher end properties sell, which have skewed the numbers, but I'll give you what they are. So it's saying that the average of these 12 that sold is about $2.3 million, representing a 63, 64% increase. So this is the opposite of the two to four unit buildings, just like they are not in decline financially. The larger five plus units haven't shot up 64% in value either. It's just the nature of higher or lower units that have sold. And on average, they're selling in 88 days, which is an increase over last year of about 35%. Thank you for watching.